we get to question seven, the next several questions has to do with electricity, okay? So question seven says, two charged objects exert a force of 500 newtons on each other. What will be the force if they are moved three times as far apart? So you have two charged objects, Q1, Q2, and they exert a force on each other. Right now, we don't know if one is positive, negative, the other one is uh, negative, positive, but let's just assume that they are both positive. So they're gonna exert a force on each other, 500 newtons this way. The equation for the force is K Q1 Q2 over R squared. R is the distance between them, or you can write it D squared, right? A lot of forces in nature are happen to be this one over distance squared. Gravitational force and electrical force being two prominent examples. So two objects attract or repel each other, depending on their charge, as a function of their distance squared. So right now, if they're uh, exerting 500 newtons on each other, you move them three times farther apart, the force is gonna be less, right? They're farther apart, but how much less, right? Well, since it's distance squared, if it's three times farther, right? You have to square the three. That's the important thing. The force is gonna decrease by how much? The force is gonna decrease. Its original force was 500, right? But since the distance is three times farther away, three squared. The force is gonna decrease by a factor of three squared. And you get 500 over nine. Well, nine goes into 50 uh, five times, right? With um, 45, with, and then it gives another 50. Then five goes into 55 times, five, and so on, and so on, and so on. 55.5 something something. So of course, this is the answer, 55.6 Newtons B. If someone hadn't done that square thing, then they would have put 500 over three, then they would have gotten this answer, 166.7. So this is here on purpose, okay? Now, if someone thinks that the force is going to increase by a factor of three, then they would have put this. If someone thinks the force is gonna increase by a factor of nine, they would have put this. So each of them is here on a purpose, right? So what would happen if, the, if they are closer together by a factor of three? You bring them closer by three, then the answer would have been 4,500, okay? So watch the wording of the problem very carefully. Read it, listen to it, and visualize it. Draw a picture, right? So since it's moving apart, the force should decrease, okay? Thank you.